Hi everyone, the Crafty Atelier Angela is here with a small DIY for the kitchen. So I have here, I have just a dish that I don't use <laughs> and you can find them at the thrift store, but then I just have this little towel rod thing <laughs> that is also trash and this is going to be a paper towel holder. I'm going to try an attempt to make a tree stump thing to hold it. So I'm going to hot glue this rod to the plate and then I am going to take some E6000 and just to secure it a little bit better um, I'm just gonna slather that on. <laughs> so here it is and it really is secure. Now I'm going to use my glue gun and basically make some little lines and just some bark texture on this uh, paper towel <laughs> trash <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that all the way around and uh, yeah I really like it I also filled up the top I just layered it um, one upon the other just kind of in a round circle just to fill the gap uh, I waited until it was dry though I also did this to the plate just to kind of give it a little bit of root texture so now I'm going to take black and uh, brown and sienna and possibly a green and this rose gold uh, and yeah I'm going to decorate <laughs> this is a very simple easy DIY that anyone can do so what I did first uh, after I hot glued I mod podged before I started painting on the plate because I wasn't sure if the plate would actually take the paint or not um, so I did do that. I skipped that step, uh, but you may have a plate that won't need that. So you can get these at like the thrift store. You can just get like a, a dollar plate, even at like the dollar store. This could also work. You don't even really have to use a plate, but this is what I used. You could use just some cardboard if you want. So now I'm going to dry brush on some, I skipped umber burnt umber but I started with nutmeg so I'm just doing a very heavy dry brush of nutmeg all the way around and onto the uh, stem part of this DIY um, yeah so now I'm going to be taking that same nutmeg with some white because I was too lazy to get out a tan color <laughs> So I just made my own tan and I just kind of dry brushed that on uh, very lightly over the uh, texture part that the hot glue made uh, all the way around and all the way to the top. So you can see the root structure and all of the texture all the way around. I also dabbed on some green just with my sponge. <laughs> And now I'm going to take the rose gold and I'm just gonna basically finger dab it on everywhere pretty much I'm just going to smear it on there it doesn't really give a color so much uh, because it's very sheer but it gives a little bit of shine and it kind of pulls it together in my kitchen so I really liked it after this I actually mod podged everything and it took a while to dry but it was worth it because if I'm going to be handling this, you know, with my paper towels all the time, um, I wanted it very, very uh, durable. So that's why I went with the Mod Podge all over very, very liberally. So yeah, I'll have some uh, final pictures and hopefully you guys like this very short DIY. Um, it was just something that I needed in my kitchen. So thanks everyone. Bye.